everyone, thank you so much for joining us. Welcome to the classroom without walls, using technology to reimagine education. My name is I am the host of this weekly show. I created this show because I believe our society has changed a lot. Social media and technology play a huge, a huge role in our changing society. As an educator myself, I really want to tap into the power of technology and social media to create an online community where we can get together and be students and teachers at the same time and to learn from each other. If you are new to the show, thank you so much for joining us. And if you are a returning attendee, you know how much I love you and how much your support means to me. And hey, Lisa. And uh, hey, Keith. Oh, Keith is here. Thank you so much for joining us. And if you are watching this on replay, thank you so much, future people. Today, I'm so, so, so honored to have Dr. Joyce Knudsen join us live to discuss Twitter and how to build an engaging community on Twitter and how to become an influencer on Twitter. Dr. Dr. Joyce is a dear friend of mine, and I'm so happy and so excited for today's interview. She is a Twitter influencer. She's also a content creator and a social media marketing guru, and she is an image expert. She has 30 plus years of experience in the business, in the industry. She has her own uh, radio show. So Dr. Joyce, thank you so much for joining us live. I'm truly honored to have you as a guest on my show. Thank you. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. You're so up and I just love up people. So oh. thank, you, thank you for being you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I also want to give a quick shout out to people who join us live from all over the globe. Hey, Suzanne from Scotland and Zala from Slovenia. Thank you so much, my lovely ladies. And oh, Melissa is here. Hey, Melissa, thank you so much for joining us. And uh, oh, Lisa, and uh, thank you. And Keith, thank you so much for joining us, everyone. And please type in the comments section where you are joining us from. And if you don't mind giving our show a share, that will be greatly appreciated so that more people can hear the awesomeness from Dr. Joyce. You want to add anything to my introduction, Dr. Joyce? No, you did perfect all by yourself. <laughs> okay, awesome, because I am actually going to catch a flight right after this show, so let's just dive in, okay? And uh, I'm also going to pin the B Live link in the comment section, everyone. So if you want to join a quick video chat with me and our amazing Dr. Joyce, please click on that link and to join our live video chat. I really want you to just say hi to us or maybe ask a question, okay? I'm going to get started here and please feel free to ask whatever questions you have. This is your chance to become better at Twitter. So as I introduced you earlier, Dr. Joyce, you have such an incredible uh, presence on Twitter. You have 1.1 million followers on Twitter. I don't think I will ever get to that point. And uh, you also have such an incredible community, very engaging community on Twitter. And uh, so can you please share with us your top secrets, okay? Pull behind the curtain and share your top secrets and strategies or maybe tactics with us that helps you get to where you are today on Twitter? I think most people go to, on Twitter without any instruction. They don't do mm -hmm. any research, so they don't know how to use it and they think it's Facebook. So they put things on there like you would put on Facebook and you don't do that. You have to have quality content. Quality content is the most important thing. There's a, st a statistic that 20% of people will read your tweets and not unfollow you if you have content. 80% will drop you. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but they will drop you. 
and I have learned how to have quality content. And anybody can do that. You know, I'm really nothing special in the way of Twitter. I am just myself. And maybe other people are themselves and they don't know how to do it. But I just am a kind person who wants to help other people. So that's why I give on Twitter more to others than I do to myself. So it's mm -hmm. not an, it's not a... Uh, I do this, I do that, I'm doing this, I'm going here, I'm going there. Nobody cares. Mm -hmm. It's, it's got to be yeah. about we. It's got to be yeah. we should get together. We should have a Skype call. I'd like to get to know you better. Just a we tweet. That's all it is. It's so simple, yet people don't do it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Any uh, specific uh, tips that you want to share with us? I remember I uh, before the chat and uh, before the live chat, we were talking about on Twitter. You were saying some like ideal times that you can tweet, or maybe even you change your Twitter names. Any like specific uh, actions or tips that people can apply? I am so bad at that. I, I want to let people know everything I do because I think they think I'm just on social media and I have time for all kinds of other things. I don't. So what I try to do is maybe once a month, sometimes once a week, sometimes twice a day, I change my Twitter handle for the three things you're allowed to put under there. And somebody had suggested to me that you put down marketing guru, that you put down all the things that I at the top of the list that people would want to know and that's what i did yesterday so i'm sorry i confused you when you went back and saw, so i changed it again but i do think it's important that you change it again and that's the only place you could brag that's the only place you can brag you can't brag on twitter you can brag in your bio but in a kind of a nice way uh, and you don't brag about yourself. It's not about you. People are on there taking time away from their schedules to look and see what they might learn from you. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, exactly, exactly. How about, uh, like, I I never, I rarely, you know, on Twitter, you can add kind of like a title after your name. I rarely change that. So you think we should also just like change that, like regularly, like how often? It has worked for me. And I will say okay. that uh, like just in the last two days, I got 300 people following me. I didn't ask to follow. Uh, and I think it's because they, they're looking for a certain thing in that little title. And if it's not there, then they go somewhere else. So mm -hmm. I am a marketing guru. I do all the things I say there. So why not? I am an image expert. So why not say it? Because maybe somebody is looking for an image consulting course. Maybe somebody is looking to be soft skills. Whatever it is I have there. But the beauty of it is, is that as they go through your tweets from before, they see all these different things that you've done before. So just saying that you're a Twitter genius, which I, I wonder why people say that. Because so many people say they're Twitter experts and they have 100 followers. How could they be a Twitter expert? I don't understand. Um, but that's why I get the followers, because people are interested in what Joyce is doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's such a great point. And I'm going to update my after <laughs> our chat. Yeah, I, I also remember you mentioned, like, there is an ideal time for us to post on Twitter. And I assume for you, with such a huge following base, do you have a kind of an ideal time as your audience is probably scattered all over the globe? So do you have an ideal time for you to post? And how did you discover that time? Research. You have to research. Yeah. You have to look on Google. You have to read in books. You have to see what's working for other people. Go to your top influencers. See when they're tweeting. It'll tell you two hours ago, three hours ago. It'll tell you under tweets what your measurements are. It'll tell you all these things. People don't look. They don't look at your bio. So people will say to me, what is your email address? Are you kidding? It's right there. All I have to do is click on it. They don't read the bio. And so it's very important that we really show interest. And it's not showing interest if somebody's looking at your Twitter handle and they don't read it. And then they ask you, what is your website or what is your email address? It's right there. <laughs> you can't miss it. It's right in the main 
main bio area. So I, I recommend that people do read the bio. And uh, I, I would say the times to tweet, what I have to do is I can't pay too much attention to the tw time, tweeting times because I have another, I have a job with a lot of things that I have to do. Uh, so I tweet in the morning, I tweet in the afternoon, and I tweet late at night. And that way I'm getting okay. a whole gamut of people. A lot of people say, well, why are you up at three o'clock in the morning? You'd be surprised how many people you'll get because the other side of the globe wants to read your tweets too. Mm -hmm. And so I just have them ready. I have them ready on a Word doc and I know what I'm going to say. I have done the research before on what something would be good to put up and people would like to read and I share it. And all I do is copy and paste and it's done. So it doesn't take me more than, I'm going to say more than two hours a day is spent on Twitter. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think, uh, you know, what is kind of, as we talk about this, I love how you break down like different chunks of time to be on Twitter. Do you have uh, like a ratio for yourself in terms of like how much self promotion you do and how much other people's content you share and how does this work for you, Dr. Joyce? Uh I do very little self-promotion. I kind of have a rule called one in 10. So every 10th one, I may put something down like just finished writing a soft skills course. If you're interested in soft skills, click here. But I don't throw it in their face. I don't say, you'll make $1,500 if you follow me today within 10 minutes or whatever people are doing. I don't do that. So I do think it's all right to promote yourself a little bit. But it, we people go crazy with the promotion. And you have to know that there is just no certain things not allowed on Twitter. Politics is not supposed to be for Twitter, even though it turned into a political thing. Uh, Sex-related things are not sp supposed to be on Twitter, although they are. Uh, you know, the beautiful thing about Twitter is that we can look a certain way from the waist down or from the even from the top down and you will uh you love the person for who they are for what not for what they look like but for who they are so that's really true friendship not caring whether the person is heavy or thin or whatever it is and there's all these groups out there that say you know this is for the big people why what difference does it make and so everything needs to be positive. There can't be anything that is negative in any way, shape, or form on Twitter. Mm. People don't like to read no, things I, like that. I, 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 this is such a great point. Like many of my friends are not on Facebook. And one of the important reasons is that there's too much like politics, political talk, negativity. Who has time for that? As you mentioned, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think that a, a lot of people, Twitter is a godsend for, because there's a lot of people that are homebound. There's a lot of people that are deaf, a lot of people that are blind. And, and this is like their way of having friends called tribes. So mm -hmm. somebody will come on and say, hello, how are you today? So Susanna or whatever. And then they'll answer you back and there'll be 20 different tweets about that. Really, honestly, I, nobody cares. Nobody really cares about what you're doing that day or what you had for dinner. They really don't. You're going to get mm -hmm. followers if you put up a sex-related picture because the men like that. I mean, mm -hmm. I know for myself, the DMs are all, when can we meet, baby? I don't need that. That's why I don't do DMs. What do I need that for? I'm kind of flattered. I'm in my 70s. Somebody so wants me. But it's, it's absolutely just garbage That's not, that's doing on the DMs, if you have something to DM about, then you could put it in an email and you could say, my name is, I, I'm mm -hmm. on Twitter, I admire your tweets, I'd like to uh, find out more what you do, perhaps we can collaborate, you can do that. But it's very, yeah. very hard to read, for me, it's embarrassing, to read yeah. a tweet that's politically oriented, that's sexually oriented, that's hate oriented, and there's so much of that. That's why I say 20%, of the tweets and they must have a graphic because 60% mm -hmm. read that, that more. Uh, mm -hmm. It's amazing how people are following me just because I'm positive. Shouldn't we all be positive? Yeah, yeah. Also, I love 
the one ten rule you mentioned earlier. You know, like I, I also love you don't do a hardcore promotion. Kind of like throw in there, like softly, gently, and、uh, like you, now you have such a a fan base. People are promoting for you. They are telling stories for you. I think that's the best type of marketing. You know, coming from other people instead of yourself promoting、Absolutely. yourself all the time. So there, like already, just so many great points, and we are just getting started. And <laughs> Zella said、uh, so well. Yes, totally agree. Being positive, and、uh, a few more people have joined us. We have so many people. Thank you so much, Nick. And、uh, from Nigeria, thank you for joining us. And Dorothy, you are here. Thank you. People are just resonating with your comments. And Jim, thank you so much for joining us. And、uh, yes, and、uh, thank you, Melissa. Yeah. So my next question is: like, you have been on Twitter for quite some time, and clearly you have a very strong presence on Twitter. I wonder how this. Like online digital footprint on Twitter has helped you with your business or even career development, Doctor Joyce, or any like story that you want to share with us. I have a great story. I'm I'm so happy to be able to even share this. There is a man on Twitter. His name is Alpha Omega Twenty Four, and I had a very Difficult time getting a website up, and for two years my business suffered because I didn't have a website.、Uh, somebody let me down. Then I went to a bunch of GoDaddies and different things, and he said to me, "I will help you." So for one year, this man who doesn't speak English, and for me who doesn't speak French, have been sending eight to ten emails a day. He calls me his sister. I call him my brother. And for my fiftieth wedding anniversary next year, I am going to go to meet him. Oh my god! I have to. He's like a brother to me. He calls me sister. I call him brother by heart. And、uh, I've never not met anybody so kind. Never asked me for any money. But here's your point. Because I didn't ask him for money, I send him five hundred dollars here and five hundred dollars there. But I mean, he、oh, really he doesn't ask me, because to to put up the kind of website he put up for me is phenomenal for a stranger. He does not know me. He only knows my face, like you do from the end of you know just talking to me. And I just feel I feel so blessed. And he isn't the only person that I have met on Twitter that has made a difference in my life. Wow. What a great story! So this person only connected with you just like through Twitter. Yes, this you. He felt bad、wow. for me. I had such bad luck. I said, "Please, can somebody come to my aid? I need my website finished. It's been out for two years, and、uh, I got to start making some moolah." And he wrote me back and said, "I will help you." And it turns out he's a genius on websites. So at Alpha Omega, follow him. Twenty four. After that, he's wonderful. Just so wonderful. He's only like in his thirties, and I, I'm wondering why does he want to do this? But he recognizes something in me that where I can help him as a mentor. I, I this is what I believe. You know, I'd have to ask him. But I mean, I really、uh, I've met people on Twitter.、Uh, like I went, I met Winnie's son in person. She was in Atlanta when I was there visiting my granddaughter, and we made it a point to see each other. Uh, and I know a lot of people from Twitter, and you are a new person that I have gotten to know over the last six months or so. And I feel that we will meet and hug and be yes, yes, tight yes, friends. Yes. And so I, I think that just because you're blood related doesn't mean that you're friends. Just that you're family. There's a lot、oh, of family、yeah. out there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, this is such a、uh, this is such a great story. You know, I, I think it really shows. When you truly take the time to cultivate relationships, you know there can be great benefits. Even without, even though you are not expecting them to happen, they will come when you become true givers, as you mentioned. You you just really care about this person and cultivate that genuine relationship. You know, yeah, I love I love this story. It's so inspiring. Yeah. Well, the media makes it sound like we all have to be models. We all have to wear a certain. Hi Eugene, we all all have to do a certain thing,、uh, you know, do a certain thing a certain way. That's just not true. I'm in the image profession, so I try to look my best.、Uh, it doesn't seem to matter whether 
how old you are. But like I said, you could be somebody with a handicap. You could be somebody with uh, a, a very large body. You could. Be, there's just so many people on here, and that and this is wonderful because it shows you that it's the heart, not the mind, uh, that really connects you to people. It's the heart. Somebody says something that touches you. Well, they're my best friend. I love those people. Oh, just so true. It really touches my heart. Everyone, this is my bad, like my takeaway. Use your heart to connect with people, not your mind. That's wow. right. Wow, that yeah. is so true. You know, I, I think with social media, and uh, we we think so much about like generating leads and traffic. We forget that we are humans. You know, the social element of social media. This is gold. You know, use your heart to connect with people. Wow. And actually, that's a cool story how I connected with Nick. Who is joining us live? You know, I saw his tweet. I sent him a video, and he has he and I we have become friend. You know, like because I use my heart, I care about him. I care about every single person who joined my show live. I truly <laughs> appreciate you guys, and great things can happen. Yeah, this is amazing. Yeah. So we have a question. Oh, Sarah, you are never too late to join us. Thank you so much for being here. And here's a quick question from Danielle, and uh, she was asking, like, uh, if uh, what is your recommendation? For like for people who are interested in asking for mentorship from strangers on Twitter, like asking for help or advice from people they don't know on Twitter. Well, that's a very good question, and I thank them for asking it. I I have found that you it isn't the proper place to ask for anything on Twitter. You see their email address. You see their website, and there's always a message from the website. You want to get in touch with that person via email. They have mm -hmm. enough to do. They can't go through 95 uh, direct messages. That's just not, it's not polite. It's just not polite. Mm -hmm. Or to ask somebody, I get asked all the time, can you look at my website? I'm not a webmaster. You know, can oh, wow. you look at my blog? I don't know if it's good. You wrote it. You must think it's good. So it's good. You know, I, I have my own blog called Insights. And for those people that want to see it, they can go to my website and read them. But I never, ever advertise. Go to my blog and read about this. I don't do that. You know, I think a very good suggestion that I just thought of is to get some experience with eZine. I don't know if you're familiar with eZine.com, E-Z-I-N-E.com. But that is a place where you can write a lot of articles and they put you in different categories. And I'm in a very good category. And so it's it's a it's a practice on how, you know, to, and they'll correct you if you need some help. So I did easy for years. And then when wow. I got better, I had a lot of experience. Yeah, what is that? Uh, maybe you can. I'm not very familiar with. I share the the link in the comment section. Everyone, easing. What is this? Can you do you mind sharing more about this, Doctor Joyce? Well, if you go to easing, e z i n e dot com, uh, you are not automatically an author, and uh, you follow their instructions. So easy instructions. I don't have them in front of me, but they're easy instructions. And so you just go there. You write an article. They accept it or they tell you what's needed for it. And you build yourself up to a premium writer. And and then you have the experience, sort of like Toastmasters getting you ready to speak. Only this is getting you ready to write. So I did a lot of that stuff. And I recommend people take uh, Dale Carnegie's course, How to Win Friends mm -hmm. and Influence People, the book, because this is what I want to say that's very, very important. I hope people listen to this. You always begin with the end in mind. That's what Stephen mm -hmm. Covey says. People don't begin with the end in mind. They get on Twitter and they begin with the beginning in mind. <laughs> it doesn't work that way. You have to find out what works, what doesn't work, and keep on improving yourself on it. Because it's very hard to get somebody back if they don't follow you anymore. So you want to keep, so you keep your following and you do that by one really neat trick. And I know that Eugene does this and it's very good Eugene, that you do this. He, he always uses a person's name. And I'm impressed by that because you really want to use the person's name. The most beautiful sound 
emphatic, rhythmatic name in the whole world is your name. And so mm -hmm. you want to say, thank you so much, I, for putting this up. Uh, it did a lot of good for me or something, whatever you want to say. But don't spend a lot of your time just answering silly things. You, mm -hmm. you want to just read the articles and say, I found that a great article. I'm retweeting it. Something like mm -hmm. that. Everything has to be giving. And if it's not, 80% will lose you. So mm -hmm. you want to make sure that that 20% stays with you. You don't see all the tweets. It's impossible with 1.1 million for somebody to see all the tweets. It's impossible. And so people yeah. should know that. They should know that it's not possible. So they need to build on what they have. A lot of people that have like maybe um, 500 followers do better in their businesses than people that have 1 million. It, it's, oh. not, it's not the number, as you can see by verification. It's not the number of people that you have. It's the way that you communicate with the people that you do have. <sighs> Can you say that again? I just love it so much. <laughs> well, you love everything so much. You're wonderful. You're always loving it. I love, I mean, if everybody would be like you, the world would be a better place. But it is so true. Like you mentioned so many good points. I like begin with the end in mind. That is so true. You know, so many of us jump onto social media without knowing first, why am I even on this channel? What is my goal and how my social media actions are going to help me over or like achieve my business goals? Like every point you mentioned, you know, using the person's name and a quick question, follow up on that. You know, sometimes on Twitter, people don't use their name on Twitter. They have some like random handle. Like I have no idea what I is don't their follow name. Them. I don't follow them. Oh, don't? No. Okay. I mean, you know, I, what I do, and I don't know if other people have the discipline to do it, but I, I don't have any programs like uh, Social Own for or any of the big programs that people are using. I do everything myself because I want everything to be just a certain way, and I want them to know it's coming from me. Now, you could use... Uh, buffer or to do that you could do that but to me it's just an extra thing i have to do i just rather get on three times a day be myself have fun with it like i had silly saturdays for a while come up with something cute that's yours that's your hashtag people are saying to me where are your super sa your silly saturdays they're not there anymore it's because i don't have time i'd like to take the weekend off but I, I, that's not that's not possible. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to be able to do that. But the silly Saturdays, every once in a while, I'll stick a silly Saturday up there because it's a hashtag. And people just, they, they're laughing their heads off over what I'm putting down. So they see that this PhD over here is not a PhD, you know, academia, stupid, all that kind of stuff they put on us. Mm -hmm. uh, they see that I have a sense of humor. So mm -hmm. show a sense of humor. Show a lot of kindness. If somebody's saying they're having a bad day, put up something funny. Just put up something mm -hmm. funny. You don't have to answer them at all. Just put up on something funny. Hope you had a good laugh. But mm -hmm. try mm -hmm. to make your tweets all about content. You have to be a doer, a content creator, somebody that is always willing to share. That's not the place, as much as I love her, to put my granddaughter's picture up there. I do that on Facebook. Facebook is the place to do that. Every Every single social site has a purpose, and you have to know what your purpose is. So mm -hmm. I'm on Facebook so I could be on Instagram. Instagram, I've got something like, I don't know, maybe 6,500. Um, I do it by, you can post brands on there. So anything you do, you can post on there. You can post pictures on there, which I, I never have. I basically, if there are of other people, not of me and my family, it's a very private person. Um, but also, uh, Facebook is the place to, to do that. Now, I, I get a little concerned about people putting pictures on Facebook because, you know, there are these catfish that get your pictures and put them into sex rings. And this is very serious mm -hmm. stuff. This is very serious. Mm -hmm. It's very easy yeah. to get hacked. And I've been hacked. So you have to very be very careful what you have to, or you have, the more chances you have of getting hacked. Yeah, now, it might have been yeah, Memorial yeah. Day weekend for us, but for other people, it was hack weekend. <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah. they're, they're spending time at the computer trying to aggravate people, and you don't want that.
Yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely, I think this is almost like an entire separate topic. You know, cyber security and be more conscious, intentional of you put out there. You know, I'm surprised to hear that you also got hacked, and I once got blocked on Twitter. You know, those things do happen. You know, yeah. Yeah, well, it's too bad. I mean, I know people that have been hacked on PayPal with two-factor authorization. Don't think you can't be hacked. You can be. You just have to do protect recommend, yourself. Do you recommend we do the two-factor of uh like security thing? Yes. You need to do that, and as much of a pain as it is, like on your iPad, to put in a code every time you go in, it's important because if somebody gets a hold of your iPad, they can go in and take out everything. So yeah. you got to be so careful. And so I started out from the beginning, from the very beginning, I think it was 10 years ago, 2009 about. Uh, and uh, I, I started out saying to myself, okay, what do I want to be on Twitter? Do I want to be an informer? Or do I want to be someone that discourages? Do I want to be positive? Do I want to be negative? Just like you had said before. It's very important to be, people are very lonely. People need a sense of belonging, but mm -hmm. they go about it in very strange ways. It's very mm -hmm. important that you need to have your own self-esteem built in yourself. Nobody else can mm -hmm. have that for you. And so the beautiful thing about, about this is you can make really good friends. You can meet them. You can yeah. have lifetime friends. It's just a matter of having the kind of content they are looking for. And I've mm -hmm. even noticed I've even noticed I've been a little bit of an influence on people because they're doing what I'm doing now. They're putting yeah. more content. And I think yeah. I'm glad for that because I don't I don't I'm not giving myself a prize or anything, but I feel like maybe if I had influenced one person to do the right thing on Twitter, then I've been a success. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's this is so good to hear. Yes, definitely. You have you're just being so humble, Dr. Joyce. You have influence so many people, many people in the live audience, and definitely including myself. Yeah, I want to give another quick shout and thank you for joining us, Kim. And uh, she's saying hi to us. And Sarah, thank you so much. Yeah. And um, I also want to remind everyone that I share the BeLive link. We are uh, uh, going to wrap up in about 10 minutes. If you want to join the live video chat with me and Dr. Joyce, please click on the link and join us. And if not, please just type your question in the comment section. So we kind of already discussed this, Dr. Joyce, you know, you would mention some mistakes that people made on Twitter. So if you were to advise someone who is starting out on Twitter and trying to develop a community, a strong presence on Twitter, what would be your top three? pieces of advice, if you can kind of just summarize for us. Well, I can say the tweet chats are very good. I was mm -hmm. very impressed at first when I first got on them. Everybody becomes your friend. You get more followers. I think that's a good way. I think letting people know what you do is very important in that subject area because I teach so social media to people for a fee on my website. So yeah, I can take somebody from 1,000 people to 50,000 people. It's not hard to do. You just have to know how to do it. And I agree that two-factor authorization is a must from uh, the last comment. I really, I didn't get the name, so I'm sorry. Um, but I, I am more than happy to answer a simple question for people that email me about Twitter. But I have work to do. I have paid clients. Uh, I, I don't I don't advertise myself. Now, if you really want business, you go on to LinkedIn. That's mm -hmm. where my business comes from. Because mm -hmm. LinkedIn are businesses and they're looking for somebody to come in and talk on, on, on impressions. They're looking for somebody to talk on soft skills. That's what I do. And so yeah. I think it's good to let them know what you do, but not shove it down their throat. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. Yeah, oh, I love this comment from Shivo. He said he's still learning a lot from you, Dr. Joyce, and a true giver. I, I totally agree. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Shivo. Yeah, yeah. Those are uh, some some great tips and uh, make, like going like uh, the difference between Twitter and uh, LinkedIn. I recently started to become more active on LinkedIn. 
and uh, definitely has payoffs. You know, you you just cannot stay at one channel on one channel and hope hope everything will be amazing. And you just need to kind of be a little bit more stra strategic and be on different channels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So and like um. Have, go ahead. Go, go ahead. Yeah, I was sorry just going to say, don't forget to write articles on Twitter. I wrote 100 articles. And people what read them. What do you them. mean? On, on LinkedIn. Oh, on LinkedIn, yes. Give yes, you a chance yes. to write articles, and then you become an expert because you wrote the article. Yeah, yeah. And even if you blog, I blog on Medium. I still copy and paste my articles from um, from Medium to LinkedIn. You know, I love that feature you can, uh, you can do in articles. Yeah. And yeah. my last question for you, Dr. Joyce, uh, what's like, how do you measure success on Twitter? What does success on Twitter or social media in general mean to you? Do you use any like tools or apps that you recommend? I don't. I just look under tweets and it'll tell you how many notifications you had. It'll tell you what your measurement is for the day. And then I ask Alex. <laughs> to look it up for me and tell me because I have a lot of like people that are independent contractors that do the kind of things I don't enjoy doing. And the one thing I don't enjoy anything to do with is math. I do not do math. <laughs> and so uh, for the, I haven't measured actually a, I, I haven't done very much to get the people I have on Twitter, except to be me, put up great articles, Put up good contact, be funny, and help people. Like, for example, mm -hmm. I, I love that I'm able to find a missing child or a lost dog. Those are the things I retweet. I, I get tagged on almost every tweet people put up, and they want me to retweet it. I don't. If it's not pleasing to my eye, I know it's not going to be pleasing to other people's eye. So I don't do that. Now, of course, I will... I will retweet you and some other people, but uh, I'm very, I'm not going to be used on Twitter for my numbers. Mm -hmm. Do you have that happen a lot? People approach you because of your numbers? Absolutely. They, they, they'll say, do me a favor and retweet this, whatever. Why? I don't know you. Mm -hmm. It's all about relationships. It's all about building relationships in a little bit different way. I look at it like this. You have your children, friends when they were little. You have your friends for, I still have friends from second grade. You know, you, you have friends from whatever clubs you've been in. And now you have Twitter friends. I call them hashtag Twitter pals because mm -hmm. they are friends. It's just a different kind of friend and we're living in a different kind of world. And so the different kind of friend comes with that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And we can help yeah. each other. We can find places where we may collaborate on something and do things together. And I think that's wonderful. Yeah, yeah. It seems like you have so many cool hashtags that you created, Dr. Joyce. What are the hashtags that you created? I'm just curious. Well, I go through twubs, T W U B S dot com, and I, I create the hashtags that I think I'm going to use a lot like the uh, True Givers Revolution. I'm very proud of that one because a lot of people go to that. That means that you, if you hashtag True Givers Revolution after your tweets, then it goes on a separate page, True Givers Revolution. And so yeah. everybody that's, that's hashtagging it is on there with their tweets. It's like you get separate pages. So the more hashtags you have, the better. But the rule of thumb is only three to one tweet. Mm. Is that based on, that based on research, right? Right, right. Yeah, researcher. Well, so, I, I'm a research company. That's what I do. So I research mm -hmm. Twitter. Mm -hmm. What's the website again? It's www. Dr. D. R. Joyce J. O. Y. C. E. Knudsen K. N. U. D. S. E. N. dot com. Yeah, I will make sure to share your website and your Twitter handle. And also, what is the website of that place you go to create a hashtag that you mentioned? Oh, twubs, T W U B S dot com. There are others, but that's the one I like the best. T W. Okay, that sounds great. Yeah, I, I'm not familiar with this. I wonder if anyone in the live audience 
use this and uh, I'm definitely going to check it out. Yeah, we are just going to wrap up here, everyone. Okay, and if you have any last minute question, please feel free to ask or click on the BLAB link to join us live for a quick video chat. And uh, what is next for you, Dr. Joyce? And uh, how can we help you? Well, I, I don't like to put it this way because of my age, but I am building my legacy. I have people working on all of my courses because I have vision issues. So they're working, I'm working on all of my courses to make them not have any mistakes. I'm working on all of my books and rewriting them as next editions. And I am starting something, as soon as I get a minute, I'm starting something called um, Kicking Butt with Dr. Joyce on YouTube. And what I'm hoping to ask for right here on the show are people to send me a little audio clip saying, I kick, my name is, and I kick butt today by doing this. And I'll put them in the video. They'll be on YouTube and I'll get people to do that. If they don't do that, then I just will put how I kick butt because believe me, I, I kick butt every single day. Oh my goodness, I love this. And how can we, should we just email you the video or tweet you the video? I'm definitely going to do it myself. Good, I would like to have you because you kick butt every day. I, I try. <laughs> you do, you do a good job. Well, this is great. So you are going to start a YouTube channel. Yes, I already have a YouTube channel. It's being cleaned up right now. But yes, it's going to be a separate YouTube channel, Kicking Butt with Dr. Joyce, because I feel that people get to be a certain age and they just feel like they can't kick butt anymore. Why not? Who said so? I mean, there's people walking around saying, why do you dye your hair red? Why can't you have it gray? I don't want it gray. I want it yellow, purple, green, whatever I could do to stand out from the others. And that's a very important tip. You need to stand out from other people. Yeah. 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 That That is so true. Yeah. And I love how you are just being so creative with the names you have. I really love this. I, I saw that people are commenting. I think I saw one comment from Zala. Yeah, kick butt. You know, we do that. And uh this is great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. And uh, what I'm definitely going to, everybody in the audience, I encourage you to share a video of how you are kicking butt and share that with uh, Dr. Joyce. So the last question, one parting piece of advice in terms of building or developing a community on Twitter, Dr. Joyce, to become more influential on Twitter. Well, I think I do it by going on three times a day at different times of the day and night to meet different people. And I, my community consists of people that I collaborate with and that collaborate with me. Uh, I don't do a tweet chat. It's very hard for my eyes to work that because it's so fast, like lightning. You have to you sit there and type and you're going crazy trying to answer the questions and say hello to everybody. It's very hard. Uh, um, so to build a community, I feel like I have done that on Twitter with the people that I have. And I, I look every day thinking, wow, is it going to go down to 900,000? Is it going to go down to 800,000? Because Twitter does cleanups. Mm -hmm. They clean up people that are bots. And so mm -hmm. um, I've gone on there when I've had, I used to have 1.7 million and they took them away because they were all bots. Wow. So now I work my way back up to the 1.1. I haven't lost any of them. And um, that's my community. My community is what I've built up over the last uh, 10 years. Wow. It's like, I love when Twitter does that, you know, like I think there are lots of, yeah, yeah. I, I'm sure you are going to get there again. I hope so. Yeah, I just uh, shared uh, Dr. Joy's Twitter handle in the comment section. Everyone, please make sure if you haven't done so already, follow Dr. Joyce. And you can see that we were talking about Twitter names earlier. And Dr. Joyce has three names as her name, you know, marketing guru, image expert, entrepreneur. Oh, I just love that. For those, many of you joined us late, make sure you go back to the beginning of the live show where Dr. Joyce was talking about how important it is for you to change your Twitter handle, now handle Twitter names and how that can tell people what you do and grab people's attention. This is great. Thank you so much everyone for joining us live. 
And uh, thank you so much, Dr. Joyce, for being our guest. And uh, every time when I chat with you, I can always learn so much. And I'm looking forward to watching your YouTube channel and sending my kick battle video. I encourage everyone in the audience to do the same. Thank you so much. Thank you, I. Yeah, and make sure you connect with Dr. Joyce. And everyone, I will see you. And thank you for joining us live. I will see you next Wednesday the same time and same location. Enjoy the rest of your week. And I am going to catch my flight to New York City. Bye. Bye.